Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, we are reviewing the 13th fragrance by Miss Mariah Carey, and that is Dreams. Dreams came out last year, 2013, and like I said, it is Mariah Carey's 13th fragrance. And she kind of did something different with this that she had kind of branched off of. Um, normally, Mariah Carey does the little... Uh, Tahir flower with the butterfly on top and she kind of mixed it up this time and made it look a little more elegant and grown up and I'm kind of hoping that we get a flanker to this one maybe like Dreams Forever or whatever in which we kind of see the same bottle just remix a little bit and it'd be cool now that she just released her uh, newest album uh, Me, I Am Mariah and then it's I can't remember the last part of it but um, it'd be really cool to see something new with that because she hasn't released an album in five years, so it'd be cool to see something different or off the wall with this fragrance. The next one, she releases one for her 14th. So on the front, straight away we have the words Dreams by Mariah Carey with these little butterflies that kind of go all over the box. And the only issue I have with these butterflies is, although yes, I do like them, um, they have no like symbolization to the box or to the bottle. Um, it'd be cool if these were either the same frosted white color that the box they are on the bottle, or if on the bottle they were, um, these colors, which I think that would have been really pretty. They kind of move on to the side with the same Mariah Carey Dreams, and then same on this side. On the top, I want to make sure I put this the right way, we have the little Mariah Carey, uh, butterfly emblem on the bottom all the information and then on the back we have the ad for the fragrance and her in this nice pretty flowing purple dress and then you have the dreams by Mariah Carey down here on the bottom so with that we have the bottle which is really kind of different the, the bottom is to look like um, a champagne flute and then the top is these three little butterflies um, there's two big ones and a little one, so it's almost like a mommy and a daddy butterfly watching over a baby butterfly. You have the words... Uh, let see if I can get my camera to focus on this. Maybe not. Holy... Maybe not. My camera does not want to want to focus tonight. But it does say... My carry Dreams on the front of the bottle right there. And then we have these frosted little butterflies. And then down way on the bottom, down here, we have her signature, which is kind of raised on the bottom of the bottle, which I think is really, really cool. So this is actually um, second to that chick, my second, my favorite Mariah Carey's fr fragrance. So this would be my second fragrance. Second favorite fragrance. Wow. Um... It's really sweet, but it's kind of a grown-up sweet, which I really like. So, oh, also, um, on the top of the bottle, we have the traditional Mariah Carey butterfly crest that we always have on the bottles. So, with this, we have top notes of bergamot, salted caramel apple, toasted almonds, and star, star, uh, star, I, okay, I'm not even going to say it. Star, Arise, uh, Hawaii, I can't ever say it. It is, we're just not even going to go there. Middle notes are Freesia, Honeysuckle, and Mugget, which, like we learned in the review for this lovely little fragrance, uh, Mugget is Lily of the Valley. Base notes are Tonka Bean, Madagascar Vanilla, Patchouli, and Warm Musk. So straight away, when you first spray it, you get a lot of the bergamot. It's a very bergamot -y, salted caramel apple fragrance but it's not it's when you say salted caramel apple it's almost like just how you would a picture a salted caramel apple but cut open so you smell that caramel but you also smell the apple and like the juiciness of the apple but i really think that the toasted almonds and the star i can't even say that word I could say it before I filmed this video, and now I can't say it at all. Star... Star Anise. There we go. Wow. Star Anise. Is kind of... They just kind of balance out the top. 
but you got bergamot and caramel apple kind of building themselves together. And then it really quickly dries down to the middle with the freesia, the honeysuckle, and the lily of the valley. And I think the lily of the valley and the freesia are kind of the more dominant, excuse me, dominant notes of this fragrance. And then as you kind of dry down, the tonka bean, which kind of smells a little bit like a vanilla, um, the managas for vanilla, the patchouli, and the warm musk. The patchouli doesn't really bring itself out, which is really nice because those of you who know me know I hate, hate, hate scents with patchouli. Like, right here is my Jessica Simpson shelf, and right there is um, Fancy Nights. And that has a whole lot of patchouli in it, and I absolutely hate it, and I hate patchouli. But this is a really nicely done patchouli because it's very light and airy, but the Madagascar vanilla and the Tonka bean kind of take it over and let it smell really nice. So, as it really, really kind of dries down, it gets in what they've called her marshmallow fragrance. And that's because you have the vanilla, the Tonka bean, the salted caramel apple, and the bergamot all kind of coming together and it gives you this really what I would call like a hundred thousand dollar marshmallow because it is a really rich kind of smell and I mean rich as in like it's expensive-ish but not like rich as in like it's heavy and deep or like rich like a chocolate or something so I think it kind of balances itself out very nicely this is a perfect kind of day-to-day -day scent, um, perfect for the spring and the summer and part of the fall. You could probably wear it in the winter too, but I think that with this fragrance you would, um, it wouldn't produce itself in, as much as it would in like the spring or summer. Um, nothing really super special about this fragrance, nothing kind of bam, um, just kind of a nice everyday fragrance to kind of it's your little pick-me-up. It'll make you happy. It smells really nice and it'll keep you kind of on your toes to make you happy and make it kind of smell like a marshmallow, which who doesn't want to smell like a marshmallow every now and then and make it smell like a good marshmallow and not like you went and like rubbed Jet Puff all over yourself. So that is my review of Mariah Carey's Dreams. If you guys want to, go ahead and hit the button below. Subscribe. Um, I would like to thank you guys because I recently, recently just got 400 subscribers, which, I mean, it's not a lot compared to some people out there, but I'm grateful for every single one of you who do subscribe, so you guys know, every view you guys, every time you guys view my videos, every time you guys comment, every time I get a subscriber, you guys do bring a smile to my face, it means that I'm not the only crazy lunatic out there who likes all this. So, follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, I'm always giving you guys more information about perfume there, also, if you follow me, I'll follow you back, and you can message me anytime for information for information. Um, follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to do a lot better at using my Instagram. My Instagram is Among the Stars Perfume. And I'm really trying with my Instagram. I am trying my hardest. I'm trying to take pictures of what I'm wearing from a day-to-day -day basis and just kind of let you guys know what I'm wearing. If you guys want to know what I think of it that day, go ahead and like shoot me a message on Twitter or comment on my Instagram, anything. So, have a great day, guys. Bye.